Good morning or good afternoon everyone and uh, thank you for joining this new webinar about uh, CorelDRAW Premium Membership. My name is Gérard Metraillé and I'm part of the CorelDRAW product management team at Corel. I'm joined today by Laura Olak. She's a user experience designer for the CorelDRAW product line and she'll be going into more details about the new features exclusively available to Premium Membership in just a few minutes. This webinar will be recorded and will be available on our website for future viewing. Please be aware that everyone will be on mute for the entire session. To ask a question, please use the GoToWebinar console on the right-hand side of your screen. Simply select the third panel from the bottom on the, uh, of the console and click the plus sign to reveal the questions window. Then click in the questions field. We'll answer as many questions as possible at the end. So without further delay, let's get started into the presentation about the CorelDRAW Premium Membership. I'm going to start here today uh, just to give you a quick overview myself uh, for about uh, the Premium Membership and the different options available uh, to users. And then uh, I'll hand over to Laura for a much more detailed view into these, some of the exclusive new features for Premium Members. CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X6 today offers our users the choice of uh, selecting the type of uh, benefits that they want throughout the life cycle. Included at no extra charge is the standard membership for everybody who purchases CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X6, which includes access to the latest updates and fixes, uh, as well as access to all of the content that usually traditionally was on the DVD uh, through an online service directly from within the Corel Connect application. Again, the standard membership is available for ev to everybody who purchased Corel Draw Graphics Suite, a full or upgrade version, uh, for free uh, and uh, can be used uh, uh, forever there for everybody. In addition to the standard membership, Corel also offers an option to go to what we call the premium membership, which adds for a yearly fee on top of everything you get with the standard membership. Additional premium uh, fonts, photos, clip arts, and templates that are available exclusively to the premium members, as well as access to new features or early access to new features, and, and Laura will show you a few of those in a few minutes. Now, what this means is really that as Corel develops the next generation of Corel Draw, we do develop features on an ongoing basis, and instead of waiting until the next major release is available to everybody, we are actually making those features available to premium members ahead of time. In addition to those, uh, to this early access to new features, we're also making available uh, web services and, and features as we go. Uh, one of them that is actually integrated in uh, in X6.3 and available to premium members is a QR code validation service, so you can validate the QR codes you put into your designs. Finally, part of the premium membership, everybody is also going to be getting the next major versions as they are released. So not only do you get early access to new features, but you really make sure that you will always be on the latest and greatest forever. We are also offering a 15-day free trial for the premium membership to everybody with a standard membership from within the application, and I believe Laura will show you briefly how to access that trial. In addition to offering a standard and a premium membership to uh, people who purchase a perpetual license of CorelDRAW, a full or upgrade box or download version, we're also offering the choice of getting a subscription to CorelDRAW, i.e. renting the software and getting access to basically the whole software package on your desktop on a per usage basis, including the entire premium membership. The subscription is available on a monthly basis as well as on a yearly plan, and you can really choose to go with the option you want. In summary, we strongly believe about offering you, our users, the choice of using and purchasing CorelDRAW the way that works best for you. As always, you can purchase a box of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite with a perpetual license to use the product uh, as a box version or as a download version. You have the choice to sign up at no extra cost to the standard membership which, as I said, provides you access to the online content, over 10,000 clip arts, over 1,000 fonts, and over 1,000 high-resolution stock photos, for example. Uh, and this also gives you access to the latest updates and, uh, and uh, service packs. And then we provide you the choice to go and sign up for what we call the premium membership, which extends the standard membership beyond with early access to new features, additional exclusive premium content, uh, such as we've added a whole set of premium fonts, 
uh, that would be fairly expensive to purchase individually. Uh, and you also are eligible, uh, if your premium membership is active at the point we release a new version, to get the new version uh, at no extra cost. If you prefer to rent the software versus purchasing a perpetual license, we also offer the choice of subscribing to Cruel Draw Graphics Suite, which also includes a premium membership. The premium membership is available at a yearly fee uh, of uh, $99 US, uh, or 119 euros including taxes. Uh, and the premium membership and the subscription option is available on a monthly basis or on a yearly basis. Uh, and uh, for all the prices on those, you can go to Corel.com. But without further ado, uh, I'm going to hand over the hand to Laura Olak to, to go more in details into the product and provide you more insights into some of these features that are now available exclusively to premium members. One last comment here is that those features are actually going to be available to everybody uh, with X7. So if you're on a standard membership, uh, you will only get access to those functionalities uh, when you upgrade to X7. Well, with a premium membership, you get access to all those benefits today. Laura, up to you. Thank you, Gerard. I'm just going to switch over to my part of the presentation here. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, one more time to our Corel Draw Graphics Suite Premium Membership Webinar. My name is Laura Olak, and I'm a designer with the Corel Draw Graphics Suite team. I will be giving you a demo of some of the premium features that became available with Update 1, 2, and 3 of X6, just to give you a taste of the benefits of having a premium membership. As Gerard mentioned earlier, with Update 1 of X6, we introduced the possibility for you to always get the most up-to-date features with your premium membership. If you chose to subscribe, you would also get access to all the premium features in the product. I will only have time today to cover some of the premium features that we developed for the entire suite as well as uh, for Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. Not, this is not an exhaustive list of premium features, but just some that we considered more important and we wanted to focus our presentation on today. Uh, just by installing uh, Update 1 and uh, signing in with your Corel.com account, you would get your free standard membership and then from there you can upgrade to premium membership. If you haven't done this already I would encourage you to install update one, sign in with your Corel.com account or if you don't have one create a Corel.com account and sign in and then uh, get your free standard membership. This is the first step and from there you can decide to uh, upgrade to premium when you're ready. In my case here, I'm currently running X6 retail, uh, to which I applied update 1, 2, and 3, and I also have a premium membership. Um, in fact, it's Gerard's premium membership because I'm using his machine for this demo today. So you notice in the bottom right corner of my uh, document window, there is a green little icon. If I hover over it, it tells me that I'm signed in and it gives me the uh, email address associated with my Corel.com account. If I were signed out, the icon would be red. When I click this icon, a little window comes up. At the top of the window, you see the, pre the um, email address associated with the Corel.com account, and it identifies me as a premium member. If I were a standard member, you, I would see the same window, except that it would tell me that I'm signed in as a standard member. Click the Learn More link, takes you to this dialog that shows you information about the memberships and uh, it also gives you status of your membership. So again, in my case, I'm a standard member because once more uh, you need to get your fee standard membership first in order to acquire your premium membership. It also tells me how many days I have left from my membership and when time comes to renew it, I can click this button, go to Corel.com and complete my renewal process. You can access the exact same dialogue and information from Help about Corel Draw membership. While I'm in the Help menu, I would like to point out a few other useful menu items that we added uh, with um, the most recent updates to X6. One of them is Account Settings. This takes you to Corel.com to your account page where you can see all the details about your account. You can update your account. Um, if you have a membership, you can renew it. If you don't have one, you can purchase it from there. 
Another very important menu item is Highlight Premium Features. You notice the little check mark here, uh, that means the Highlight Premium Features is on. So if I start browsing through my interface, you notice the blue highlights. Uh, for example, if I go into the Dockers menu, you notice there are three uh, menu items highlighted in blue. And this uh, is because these are the latest premium features added through the most recently released Update 3. If I were a standard member, I would still be able to see these premium features highlighted, except that they would look more disabled. They would have a gray highlight, and when I clicked on one, it would remind me that that's a premium feature and I need to have premium membership in order to use it. If you're still not sure if you are ready to uh, get your premium membership, you can go to Help Topics. And on the main page of the Help, you can see what's new in Update 1, 2, and 3. You click on one of these links, you see a list of features um, that were added with that particular update, and you click once more, for example, on QR codes, and you get some detailed information about that functionality and examples of how to use it. And now it's time to uh, get into the actual demo um, and uh, show you some of the features that we developed uh, for Corel Draw premium features. One more time. This is just a quick page layout design that I started uh, earlier for the purpose of this demo. We'll pretend it's a page of a magazine that I'm designing the page layout for. Um, and those of you who have been using X6 for a while, remember that we in X6 we introduced this new functionality, very useful and accessible from the view menu called Alignment Guides. With the alignment guides, you can align objects interactively on the drawing page. With your premium membership now, you can access the new alignment and dynamic guides docker. The top part of the alignment and dynamic guides docker has settings for alignment guides. I can turn alignment guides on from this check mark, which also turns them on in the view menu. So these two are in sync. You can change the color and the line type of your alignment guides. And here there are a series of buttons. Um, the first one allows you to align to object edges, object centers. You can also choose to align to individual objects in a group if that's important for your project. And um, we also have intelligent uh, spacing and dimensioning, which is new functionality to, for premium uh, members. This is also a very handy little button that opens up the layout toolbar. So if you are doing page layout design, with this docker now you have all the important page layout design tools at your fingertips. Uh, margins, uh, you can turn on margins for alignment guides and they allow you to align an object at a set distance from another object on screen. In my case I set my margins to 5 millimeters. And they are set right now to offset horizontally and offset vertically. And I'll show you what this does. I'm going to zoom in to the bottom part of my page layout design, which is not complete yet. And I will select one of the squares, make a copy of it, and just start moving it around the other objects on screen. So notice right now, you see a set of green arrows uh, pointing from left to right. These uh, detect the margins, the 5 millimeter margins, in relation to um, the second square on the row above. You also notice the uh, up and down pink pointing arrows that uh, detect the intelligent spacing. So when I release my mouse now, I know that I, that object is perfectly aligned with the one on top. I will repeat the same by making a copy of these objects and moving them down. You notice all the visual aids that appear on screen that allow you to interactively align and position your objects in relation to the other ones. So that was alignment guides. The uh, bottom part of our alignment and dynamic guides docker is, uh, has settings for dynamic guides. You can turn them on from here, which again turns them on from the view menu. Dynamic guides are not new for Corel Draw. We've had them for a few versions. However, changing settings for dynamic guides used to be a little hidden in the options dialog. 
now we have all this functionality available in the Alignment and Dynamic Guides Docker and some extra functionality that we introduced for uh, premium members. You see here a list of predefined angles that you can turn on and off. You can also add your own angle. Let's say you want a dynamic guide at 36 degrees for some reason. You can click the plus button, it gets added to the list and you also see it in the preview. And if you change your mind, you can select it and remove this dynamic guide. So if I start creating um, an object, let's say I'm going to draw a line, as soon as I click with my mouse inside the document window and I move around my cursor, you can see dynamic guides appear at all the predefined angles in that list um, that are checked currently, 30, 45, 90 and 135 degrees. Okay. Those of you who have been using X6 for a while may also remember that we made quite a few enhancements to the power clip functionality in X6. And you notice here I have already created um, um, an empty power clip frame inside the square, which means that this is now an interactive placeholder. I can drag and drop content onto it and the content would be clipped inside automatically. I'm going to very quickly group these four squares go to right click frame type create empty power clip frame and then I'll go inside here and what I want to do is create another object inside this existing square for that I'm going to move again to the alignment guides docker and notice here that in this flyout menu for margins I can set um, I can I have different options and for now I'm going to select inset horizontally and inset vertically and I will leave uh, my margin set to 5 millimeters. So as soon, as soon as I start drawing an object, you notice these green guidelines appear. They show me that I can start this object at 5 millimeters from the top and left edge of my square. Start drawing and as I go down to this other corner, the uh, line, the guides appear again and if you did it yourself you would feel this snap to that point. So it's extremely easy to interactively um, draw this object inside an existing one. And I'm just going to turn it into an empty clip frame with no outline. So now my content is ready to, uh, my uh, page layout design is ready to be populated with content. And for that I'm going to move over to connect. You can use the standalone connect, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to use uh, the connect docker. Um, with update one of X6, we eliminated the need for you to um, install the content on your hard drive and take up valuable space. We also eliminated the need for you to browse the DVD for content because we moved all the content online. You notice here the Corel content library is new to connect and if I expand it, you can see all the different types of content that we moved online. We don't have just clip art objects and photos, but we also have bitmap patterns, vector patterns, fonts and a few other content categories. I will check them all off and just perform a search for flower. Is, as I browse through my um, results here, I would like to point out that some of the pieces of content have an orange badge associated with them while others have a blue badge. The orange badge um, is the standard content. So if you are a standard member, you can use any of the content that has an orange badge. The blue badge is for premium content which is accessible for premium users. As a standard user, you can also see and use the premium content, however the content would be watermarked in your document until you get your premium membership. Um, I pre-downloaded some content for us uh, today so I don't have to spend the time downloaded content. Um, I'm going to just turn off my desktop layer and I'll quickly go back to connect and maybe download one piece of clip art just to, to show you how the functionality works. So as soon as I find the piece of clip art that uh, I like, 
I can do a few things. I can right click and because it's a vector drawing I can install it as a vector pattern or I can import it. But what I will do now is I'm just going to drag and drop it over my empty power clip frame which like I said it's interactive and as soon as I release my mouse the content is downloaded on my hard drive. I see this window that gives me a warning that the piece of content may be subject to some restrictions. It also reminds me what the orange and the blue badges stand for and if I understood all this I could choose to not show this dialog again. And now the content is clipped inside the empty power clip. And just very quickly I'm going to throw in a few other pieces of content just to, so we have something pretty to look at while we're uh, having this demo. In the case of bitmap patterns, online bitmap patterns, for example this is a bitmap pattern. When I right click on this piece of content it allows me to install it as a bitmap pattern. So I will go ahead and do that Again, it downloads the piece of content to my computer and now if I select an object and go over to the object properties docker, bitmap pattern fills, in the gallery here I am going to see this uh, bitmap pattern that I downloaded. Going back to my libraries here, um, I wanted to point out that in the fonts uh, section, the fonts are organized by uh, letters. So let's go in one of the folders. And as Gerard mentioned earlier, um, you see there are a lot of fonts with a blue badge, which means that they are available for premium members. And with every update to Corel Draw Graphics Suite, uh, we tend to add more content either in all categories or in some of categories. Another library that's new to connect is SkyDrive. We introduced new functionality for premium members to be able to um, upload to the cloud and download from the cloud. In order for you to access this functionality, you have to have premium membership to be able to access it from within Corel Draw and PhotoPaint and you also need a SkyDrive account. Um, and sign in with that account. I'm already signed in so um, I can select and if I go to this little information button here and select SkyDrive, you notice the checkbox that enables tray synchronization with SkyDrive on this computer. It also allows you to sign in and out. You can sign in with multiple SkyDrive accounts, one at a time, but you can. So we're going to give you a very quick demo. Gerard will help me for this. Um, he is right beside me using another computer and he's connected to SkyDrive from the other computer and he will put some uh, content in the tray and you saw that was very quick. Um, so as he put content in the tray from another computer, uh, SkyDrive synchronized the trays and I saw it right away on my computer. This is very useful if you use a multiple computer simultaneously. Okay. Um, again, some of you who have been using X6 for a while may remember that we uh, we spent a lot of time uh, creating uh, color styles Docker in X6 and allowing you to create color harmonies based on your vector or bitmaps. Just to remind you of that functionality, I'm going to take this picture and quickly create a color harmony based on it. This is not new functionality. Again, this was developed for X6. However, with your premium membership, you have access to this new drop-down menu that gives you the possibility to select from some predefined color harmonies rules. And just to demonstrate this, let's play a little bit with these squares. I will apply a fountain field to the background and then use two of the colors of the harmony. And now if I go over to the color styles docker and select complementary, what happens is that the colors on my color wheel are locked to complementary, a complementary color scheme. Orange and blue, red and green, purple and yellow. 
I can also now go and select monochromatic, for example, which one more time locks the colors on the color wheel to a monochromatic scheme. Another highly desired um, solution that many of you have been waiting for um, and it's very important for uh, designs these days is the possibility to add QR codes to your design. With your premium membership, you can now uh, add the QR code from the, the edit menu. As soon as I insert a QR code, it appears in the middle of my document. Object properties also opens with the QR code section expanded. And I, to my design here, I'm going to put the QR code in, in this corner and zoom in. And let's have a look at some of the settings available for QR codes. One of the very important ones is the possibility to add a URL, to associate a URL with your QR code. Um, we also have the foreground color, which by default is set to black. The background color by default is set to white. You can um, scale your QR code and you can change the shape of the pixels inside your QR code. So let's change the background color to a light purple and validate the QR code. You notice this little pop-up message that tells me the QR code has been validated. If I go now and change my foreground color to white, and validate again. This time the validation failed and that is because there isn't enough contrast between my foreground and my background color. So now I know that I have to go back and switch to black or some other color that has more contrast with purple. And one last feature, that premium feature that I'm going to uh, show to you today is um, the smooth tool. And for that, I just typed a piece of text here using this very funky font that has uh, jagged letters. Uh, I am going to convert to curves and maybe zoom in just a little bit more. And I will select my new smooth tool uh, from, from the menu here. I'll set my nib to 7. And then I start just pushing in from inside and from the outside of these letters. And you notice how the contour of the letters becomes really nice and smooth. And with this, I conclude the Corel Draw portion of my demo. Um, again, just some of the premium features we develop for update 1, 2, and 3. And I'll move over to uh, Photo Paint now to show you a few premium features there. One of the new premium features available in Photo Paint is Alignment Guides. Uh, accessible just like in Draw from the View menu as well as from Docker's Alignment Guides. Oh, I clicked on something else. Oh, I clicked on connect, so I'm going to go back, try that again, alignment guides. I can turn on alignment guides from here and again change the color and line type for my alignment guides. I can turn the margins on, I already set them to 5 millimeters. I'm going to draw one object, zoom in a bit. And as soon as I even move my mouse close to this object, you will start to see my alignment guides appear for the edge and the center of the object. I come close to the object and I start to see the margins. So now I can draw this object with a lot of confidence knowing that it's going to be perfectly aligned with the other object on screen and um, set five millimeters away from it. For those of you who do perspective drawings in Photo Paint, I want to point out this new functionality we added for premium members um, that we refer to as rotating guidelines. Um, this is a, just a hand-drawn sketch that I scanned in and brought into Photo Paint with the intention to recreate this perspective drawing in, in Photo Paint. 
For that, I'm going to open the guidelines docker, which again, it's new for premium members. Um, just before this demo, I pre-created some guidelines here. Uh, you can change the color and the line type for your guideline. You can create a horizontal, vertical, or angled guideline. Uh, you can decide what position that guideline has. Um, and as you can see, as soon as you create guidelines, they appear in this list, categorized by type. Um, I will start by adding another horizontal guideline, which is added right here at the top of my image. And I can move it to where I want it to be. And when I click on it a second time, um, I get the rotation handles as well as the rotation center. I can grab the rotation center and move it where I want it to be. And then grab the rotation handles and start rotating my guideline to make it go to the predefined vanishing point. I'll do it one more time. This one I'm going to start by creating a vertical guideline and move it here. Click on it again, grab my rotation center, move it down here, and then with the rotation handles, rotate the guideline to go to the other vanishing point of my perspective drawing. So this way you can start defining a grid for your perspective and then um, that will help you a lot in, uh, in drawing a, a two-point or a one-point or any kind of perspective drawing that you would like. And if you're very talented, like one of our uh, masters, uh, Stefan Lindblad, then you can um, achieve a perspective drawing like this using the new functionality of rotating guidelines. Um, with your premium membership, you also get access to some new effects in PhotoPaint. One of them is Time Machine, accessible from effects, camera, Time Machine. And this is a dialogue with uh, a set, a series of uh, effects inspired from different photographic techniques that became available uh, over the course of time. And the dialogue gives you not only previews, but also a very brief description of that photographic technique that inspired the effect. It tells you when that technique was used and just some information about it. For example, daguerreotype, albumen, cyanotype, and so on. Um, the dialogue also allows you to turn photo edges off or on. Um, I did it too fast. <laughs> so this is with the photo edges off with the photo edges on. Uh, I like the photo edges on myself because um, it gives you um, the feeling that that photograph was taken in that particular period of time, you know, in the 1920s. And when you're satisfied with your effect, you apply it to your image. Another effect that I would like to highlight um, is sepia toning, available again from effects, camera, sepia toning. And then one last one is um, the um, depth of field effect that you can achieve by using a new mask tool called the planner mask. As soon as you select it, the planner mask tool is applied to your uh, photograph. You can move it up and down to where you want it to be. You can rotate it from the rotation handles and you can also expand this planner mask. And this is what will be in focus when you apply your depth of field effect, whatever is inside this mask. And then I go over to effects, blur, bokeh blur, and the blur would be applied to everything outside of my mask. And from here you can um, set the blur amount, you can decide how much to feather the edge, um, focus range, you can also choose the aperture shape to be circular or hexagonal. And then when you're satisfied with the effect, you can dismiss the dialogue and deselect. And this is your depth of field effect. And with this, um, my demo of premium features in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint concludes. 
Uh, and I thank you very much for your interest and attention. And I'll turn it to uh, Gerard one more time. And then we'll open it up for questions. Thank you very much, Laura. This was a, a great, uh, great overview of just a few of the new things that come with uh, premium membership. And, uh, and uh, I've been monitoring and interacting and answering some of the questions uh, while we went through that. And, and I'll come back to those in just a, a few minutes. But before I do that, I just wanted to expand a little bit on one of the points you mentioned about the uh, trace synchronization, which is really a, a great new thing that is included in Corel Draw where if you are using a desktop computer or and a laptop machine, uh, you can make sure that as you collect the content that you want to use in all your graphics, those are synchronized automatically and seamlessly for you. Uh, and uh, you, can really, um, you can really have that work greatly across multiple devices and make sure that you can really have all the information and the, the trace together for you as you go. The other thing I wanted to mention about today is uh, one more thing and, and, and another uh, basically a pre-announcement of what we're going to do in the near future around trace synchronization. Um, on, uh, for those of you who are already using uh, Windows 8, uh, you certainly know already that Corel has released a, an application called Designs made specifically for the new modern UI in Windows 8. Designs is really a tool that enables you to browse and find content from different sources uh, for you to consume uh, from stock photography, from our communities, and uh, with the next release you'll also be able to search the Corel content. On top of that, uh, Designs, the, the Metro, the Windows 8 uh, modern UI application, also has a tray functionality. And with the release that we'll make available in the next few months, uh, we'll actually integrate the tray synchronization across multiple applications on a, on a Windows 8 tablet, for example, and Corel Draw, so that while you're on the go, you can find content that you really like, add it to your tray, and as soon as you're back on your desktop or, uh, or laptop win Windows computer to create designs of Corel Draw, you'll have those automatically synchronized uh, in your tray in Corel Draw, Corel Photo Paint, and Corel Connect. I wanted to um, to answer a few of the questions now, and uh, one of them that, that came a few times was more about clarification between uh, the um, different levels of memberships and subscription, and just wanted to go back in there and, and answer that one more time. So let me just go back a few slides here to this one, and just come back to the different options that are available to, to, uh, to you as a user, uh, and what choices you have to go with Corel Draw Graphics Suite X, uh, X6. Um, as I said before, Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6 is available uh, as it has always been as a box product you can purchase as a full version or upgrade. Uh, to be eligible for an upgrade, you need to be either on version X4 or version X5. Uh, but from there, you can just install that product and use it uh, on a perpetual basis uh, forever. While you install Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6, you will be asked and offered the option to sign up for a standard membership. Uh, or, and during that point, you'll just enter your, your email address, create a Corel.com account, and that will basically unlock the functionality of a standard membership, which gives you access to all the online content and the content library. So over 10,000 clip arts, over 1,000 uh, fonts, over 1,000 high-resolution photos will be included with a standard membership through an online service. Really what we historically included on the DVD itself is now available without you having to copy everything on your, uh, on your hard drive. And then you have the choice, if you so wish, to join and sign up for, uh, and the standard membership, sorry, is, a free, uh, is free to everybody who purchased Corel Draw Graphics Suite. You then have the choice to sign up for a premium membership, which Laura just uh, showed us some of the key features here. As you, you've seen before uh, during uh, Laura's presentation, you simply go in the help menu, go about memberships, and there you have a choice to, to sign up for the premium membership. At that place, you can just uh, go and, uh, and uh, try it for 15 days for free, or you can go and sign up for a yearly plan uh, for the premium membership. Um, Perhaps we can quickly show the trial. Uh, Laura, do you want to just go into Help menu? Uh, oh, I, I don't have a trial here, I don't think, because I have a valid premium membership. But if you go to the Help menu about Corel Draw memberships, and here on this screen where right now you see the text about uh, renewing or about already a premium member, here is really where you would have the button to try the premium membership for free for 15 days. So there is no no prepayment required to give it experience. You'll get the full feature and functionality of, uh, of the premium membership 
The only thing you won't have access during the trial is to download the content, the premium content uh, that you can then have uh, on your system. And then, so coming back to uh, CorelDRAW uh, graphic suite, uh, you also, if you decide and you don't want to buy a perpetual license and own CorelDRAW forever, but you would prefer to rent the software on a, on a time-limited basis, uh, then we also offer you the choice to go and uh, rent CorelDRAW or subscribe to CorelDRAW Graphic Suite either on a monthly or on a yearly basis. Uh, and that includes the premium membership as well. Going through a few of the other questions that I've, uh, I've seen so far, uh, one question came about uh, the content that is included with CorelDRAW Graphic Suite, uh, either with the standard membership or the premium membership, and what is the copyright related to that? Is it free of copyrights? So a quick answer there, that content is royalty free, so there is no extra payment for you to use, but there are still specific terms related to using that content that are covered in the end user license agreement that comes with CorelDRAW. Uh, really around attribution, uh, you are allowed to use it in your own designs, but for example, you're not allowed to resell that content uh, as is. Uh, you can include them in your designs, but not just sell them as is. So there's different rules uh, and, and limitations regarding the content that comes with, uh, with CorelDRAW Graphics Suite uh, uh, and uh, the standard and premium memberships, but those are covered uh, by the terms of the end user license agreement. All that content is available on a royalty-free basis, but with some, uh, some strings attached. Uh, just going through the list uh, here, uh, perhaps uh, Laura, uh, for the, for the, for the uh, planner mask, one of the questions here is around uh, changing the shape of that mask. Uh, so it is a linear mask, but you can raise it and grow it. You cannot make it a curved mask. Uh, another question that came in uh, here, uh, Laura, you might be able to answer that one. Is it possible to... Oh, yeah, sorry. I think I was on mute. My okay. bad. I'm very <laughs> sorry about that, so I'll answer it again. Although Gerard really already covered the answer. The planner mask tool with its current implementation is only linear. Uh, you can rotate it, move it, or expand it like I showed in the demo, but that's all that it allows you to do for now. Okay, thank you, Laura. <laughs> Let's stay unmuted right now. We'll, <laughs> we'll have more fun like that. Uh, one question regarding the dynamic guides. Uh, is it possible to change their thickness? Uh, no, the dynamic guides have a set thickness. You can only change color or line type. Yes, thank you. But that's already quite a lot. If you want to make them very visible, you could make it red if the background is yes, another color and they'll pop exactly. out. Exactly. So, greatly there. Excellent. Um, there is another question. I'll just read it here. Uh, I have a standard membership, and you mentioned in your introduction that I would have access to 1,000 uh, fonts and artwork. Uh, I'm referring to Corel Connect. Yes, all that content is available through Corel Connect uh, directly. So within the standalone Corel Connect application or within Corel Connect that is integrated within Corel Draw directly. So the same application is there, uh, and it would be showing up through the Corel Content Library that you see in, uh, in Corel Connect, I think. Or are you showing that? Anything yes, else? Yes, I am showing. I expanded it here. These are all the different categories of content that you can uh, browse through. Okay. And then you can, uh, if you're a premium member, uh, you will get access to the whole library, the, the content that is tagged with an orange a badge and the one that is tagged with a blue badge. If you are a standard member, you will actually also have the option to show the premium member uh, content, but you will only be able to download a watermarked, lower resolution watermarked version of that if you're a standard member. For those who are on a trial version of CorelDRAW and haven't purchased or haven't signed up for a standard membership, you can actually also see the whole content, but you'll see everything watermarked. So when you drag and drop it, uh, you'll actually see it watermarked. And then uh, as you work and as you purchase CorelDRAW, one thing uh, that uh, Laura didn't mention, but you can always click on that content that is watermarked in CorelDRAW and say replace comp, and it will actually go and grab the full version of the artwork from the, the content library for you automatically. Looking at a few other questions here. Um, one of the questions about when is uh, X7 coming out, well, that's a very interesting question. I, sadly, uh, I won't be able to answer that one. Uh, we. We're normally not uh, pre-announcing products uh, that is uh, here, uh, but uh, 
really uh, for us uh, the very important part for us here today is about the features and these premium features you can benefit from them right now uh, or if you don't want to go on a premium membership right now then uh, we will make those available to everybody with a standard membership uh, on uh, on X7 when it comes out. Historically we've been on a two, two and a half year plan so I'll let you do the math I cannot really say more than that. Looking at uh, some more questions here um, the recurring uh, question I'm receiving here uh, around uh, using Corel Draw on the Macintosh, uh, and I'll answer that. It's not directly related to premium membership, but, but Corel Draw is designed and made for for the Windows platform, uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8 is uh, fully supported with uh, with Corel Draw Graphics with X6. Um, today we do not have, and we have not announced any plans for a Mac version of Corel Draw. Uh, we are aware that some of our users use Corel Draw on a Macintosh uh, hardware either using a boot camp from Apple uh, or using a virtualization environment like your parallels of VMware uh, and uh, so far there is no known specific issues specific to that product uh, we actually uh, have some people internally who test it and, and use it on a on a regular basis as well uh, through virtualization so so that will work great to use Corel draw on a Macintosh um, a few more questions about pricing uh, so let me let me go uh, there uh, and uh, so the pricing for a premium membership uh, the price uh, in uh, in North America is at uh, $99 uh, US uh, plus taxes depending on where you are uh, for a yearly premium membership and, uh, and in uh, in other regions the price will vary uh, in Europe uh, I believe the price is around 119 uh, euros including taxes uh, as uh, there and then it really depends on, on where you are around the world for premium membership. For subscriptions uh, we have two options. We have a monthly option uh, so you pay on a month-to-month -month basis uh, and then you have the choice to go on a yearly plan which uh, enables you to save uh, I believe around 40 percent compared to a month-to-month -month payment plan uh, there if you want to go for the year. So a huge saving there. Um, for the Yes, the, the other question here, just going through the list, the presentation will be available, it's being recorded right now and we'll make it available uh, after this, uh, this webinar uh, to everybody to watch again. Um, and um, here is a comment uh, from Leslie, I uh, just want to say thank you, brought premium the other day, uh, I'm really enjoying it, fa fa fascinating webinar, I'm really enjoying it, well glad you're enjoying it and uh, hopefully you discovered a few tricks that you can take advantage of from, from the premium membership that you just purchased. A final question here that I'm seeing right now is about uh, the premium membership availability. Premium membership availability is currently not available in India. Uh, there is very few countries around the world where we haven't been able to roll it out yet. We're working very hard uh, to make it available worldwide. Right now India and China are two of the main countries where you cannot sign up for a premium membership but we are working on that uh, a lot. Another question here uh, I see from one of our Corel Draw Masters, Silvio. Hello Silvio. Uh, is there any prediction premium membership have more open type font options in addition to Gabriola? So uh, do we have more functionality for open type? First of all I believe we include an additional about a hundred open type fonts total right now for premium members that are exclusively available to premium members. Uh, and then some more information about open type fonts uh, for, for premium members. Is there something specifically in X6.3 or up to X6.3? Uh, no, I believe that uh, something is coming up soon, but uh, not yet uh, for open type fonts. Uh, I know there is some additional Asian open type font support. Um, and for more details, I can get back to you, Silvio, just to, to give you some detailed information there. Um, I'm not sure if we have any Asian fonts here to show you that functionality, but I can get back to you. Yeah, and, and to expand a little bit uh, to uh, what Laura was saying, not to make any pre-announcement or anything, but but uh, I think what you'll see with the with the next uh, update for Corel Draw with X6.4 is some some enhancements around fonts, but uh, we can't really speak a lot more about that. So again, that's going to be what's coming up for for premium members uh, here. And we're trying to focus on on one one area per 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 update. So a lot was done around photo paint, for example, in X6.3. Uh, so it's just as we go, there's going to be more and more. I'm uh, seeing that there is not many other questions. Let me just check a few more things here. Uh, 
just wanted to go through uh, here a few more questions. I think one of the questions I've seen a few times and I just wanted to, to look at as well is about uh, the requirement of an internet connection. Um, so you do need to have an internet connection to sign up and log in or sign in to CorelDraw uh, with your Corel.com account. Uh, but you really, you do not need to have a permanent internet connection in order to be able to use the product and the features that are inside the product. Uh, so uh, almost everything that Laura showed you outside of accessing Corel Connect and the content that we host uh, online, that obviously requires an online connection. Uh, and then also the QR code functionality uh, requires an, uh, an online connection because we're using our uh, a Corel server to actually generate the, Corel, uh, the QR code for you and to validate the QR code for you uh, in, in real time and do the heavy lifting there. Uh, but uh, everything else that you see, as long as you are signed in to Corel Draw uh, with your Corel.com account and it's valid standard membership and premium membership, you don't need an internet connection to continue using it. The other uh, thing I wanted to mention here, just very quickly looking at it, um, what happens if my uh, premium membership expires, if I decide not to renew my premium membership? Uh, and I know that's a question that has come up a few times, and I just wanted to clarify that here. Um, if you're signing up for a year premium membership, in a year's time you decide not to renew your membership, what will happen is basically you will be reverting back to a standard membership level. Uh, so all the premium features uh, that are in X6, uh, in X6 right now and that you're used to have with a premium membership would basically defeature again and not be available to you uh, and you would lose also access to the premium content for example. You would also no longer be eligible of getting the next major release uh, if and when we release it. Uh, so those things basically what happens when a premium membership, if you do not renew your premium membership, you will be reverting back to a, a standard membership level uh, for that. Um, just checking if there's any other question. If you have any other question, uh, please uh, feel free to type it into the uh, into the GoToWebinar interface. Um, I'm seeing one more here coming up. Um, I've uh, there's some people who've reported and uh, about uh, not being able to get a very uh, standard membership or premium membership when they go through the process of entering their Corel, uh, creating a Corel.com account and then they receive a, a notification at the end of that process that we weren't, that Corel uh, and Corel Draw was not able to verify their status or their in what we call the unverified status uh, mm -hmm. level. What is happening here is that we are, uh, the premium membership standard and premium membership are available at no extra, uh, are available exclusively for customers who have purchased the product and uh, there's been a few people who try to get a standard membership uh, uh, without having tried, uh, without having purchased the software, and that is not available to them. The other thing that might have happened there is that uh, the standard membership is associated with the first email address, and the premium membership as well is associated with the first email address or Corel.com account that you create in order to get access to that premium membership. So if you go to a, a second machine like a laptop and to install it there, and you decide to log in with a different email address. That serial number that you're used is already being assigned to another machine uh, and another Corel.com account, which means the new one. Make sure that you use the same email address to log in than the one you use in the other system, and then your standard membership will be turned on again. I think that covers uh, the main items for today. Uh, we would love to spend another few hours going into more details on, on a lot more functionality in, uh, in Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6, uh, but I think these are just uh, the highlights of, of some of the, the main ones uh, that we have there. Uh, and I want to thank uh, very much uh, everybody for attending today, uh, and uh, also uh, a big thank you to Laura for, for going through all those features and, and spending some time. And you've worked quite hard on some of them and to drive the, the design. So uh, it's, uh, it's really great to see them there. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. And if you have further questions about uh, the memberships or, uh, or anything else regarding CorelDRAW, you can always uh, join the CorelDRAW.com community site and ask your questions there in the forums. Uh, and in addition, uh, you can always um, Try the premium membership uh, in Corel Draw Graphics Suite X6 uh, at no extra charge uh, for 15 days uh, to test everything and experience it for yourself. Thank you very much. Have a great day.